whiteboards, little personal whiteboards that I use particularly for D&D, or that at least I, I plan to once things get back to normal around here. Uh, they're simply pieces of wood with a whiteboard paper on the top of them, and you can actually get whiteboard paper on Amazon. Looks like this, uh, just a roll of paper. Uh, it's sticky on one side, so you just peel off the, the stuff on the bottom and um, just stick it to a piece of wood. And so these are just um, uh, little pieces of wood that I got at my local uh, home uh, big box retailer, whatever you'd call that, um, Home Depot, basically. Um, and just put that on, on wood. However, there is something uh, special on the other sides of these, I have a special design. So I happen to have a uh, laser engraver back in there. And so on the back of each of these, I engraved a special design. And so I have a variety of things here. I have an old school beholder, a um, bunch of different stuff. This was the, originally the Tarrasque from D&D, if you can imagine that. Um, so that was a lot of fun, actually, was finding old art and um, getting those wood burned, basically, onto the back of these. And, uh, has some, some pretty cool ones here. So um, obviously you don't need that for this sort of thing. You just leave these as either plain wood or put uh, the same kind of paper on the other side. Uh, once you stick this down, you just use a, a razor blade to cut all around the edges. I took a scrap piece of wood on the bottom and used that to cut around. So I uh, you know, uh, just scored into that scrap wood and could uh, then um, uh, basically toss that uh, a piece of wood on the scrap pile. And so um, these are actually pretty effective. Um, it, they are a pretty good whiteboard surface. So um, as you can see, I, I put some stuff there and I can very easily just take a little bit of cloth and just rub that right off and it comes right off. Um, you do want to rub it off uh, quickly. If you leave things on here for more than about 24 hours, um, it will tend to start to sink in and discolor that whiteboard. Um, on the other hand, one of the nice things about this is you can use these for months and months. And if they do end up getting discolored after a while, you just take the paper off or just put a new layer of whiteboard paper on, on the front of these and you're good to go. Um, also, extra pieces of wood are cheap. You'll notice there's a black border around here. My initial plan for that was to take a marker, like a, a Sharpie, and run that all around the edges. And that worked fine in some cases. Um, but in some of them, the wood was rather porous, so there are a lot of holes on the side. Let's see if I can find a good example of that here. One of these had um, a significant amount of, of that. Ah, here's a good one. Um, so there's, as you can see pretty easily there, um, this is basically plywood, and so there's a lot of gaps and such there. So I just took black acrylic paint and painted that all along the edges. It's a small brush painted that in and ran it all uh, along. Now, it turned out to not be a really uh, crisp line all the way through, but I actually like that. Given the, uh, the art on this side, having the kind of rough edge of the black, I think adds a certain kind of, uh, almost like a burned edge feel to the edges. So I'm fine with that. that. I am planning on uh, staining one side of these. Um, so I would like to apply some stain to this, just because I think stain helps really finish off wood. Um, unfinished wood just looks like unfinished. Uh, so I, I like adding just a little bit of stain, even just a light colored stain. And that usually just, um, the eye will notice that it's, it's finished off. So I do want to do that. Um, but otherwise, that's how to do it. It's, it's pretty straightforward. Again, it's just chunks of paper cut in a uh, you know, rectangle. Um, I did round the corners, so you'll notice that. And that's just using sandpaper. Simply a piece of sandpaper, sometimes wrapped around a block of wood, and just running that along the edges, and that just rounded it off quite nicely. You don't need a router or anything like that. Um, so again, you have your, your, your board, design optional, and then you just cut and stick your, um, your whiteboard paper to that, and then use a razor blade, as I said, to just lay that down, cut all along the edges, and then I ended up stacking uh, books on top of these just so that the, um, you know, the, the, uh, the whiteboard paper would stick firmly to that and really adhere. Uh, and also, uh, important thing, as you're cutting all this stuff off, make sure that you clean off and dust, uh, clean off any, any sawdust on these things before you put the contact paper on, uh, or the whiteboard paper, I should say. Um, if this is covered with dust, then you put the, the sticky paper on, it's going to adhere to the dust, not the wood. So make sure it's nice and dry and, uh, and clean before you put that whiteboard paper on, and then you're good to go. Uh, now, obviously, if you really worked at it, you could peel this, this uh, paper off. 
Uh, if you wanted to address that, you might uh, want to lay down a little bit of like wood glue along the edges before you stick the, the, uh, the paper down. Uh, and that would just adhere it a little more firmly to the wood. This stuff is all purpose, which means it's gonna stick reasonably well to most surfaces, but it's not you know, ideal for every surface. So again, you could use a little bit of wood glue just around the edges to really um, uh, you know, ensure that those edges are, are clean for a long time. Personally, I'm not too worried about it. Um, if these end up having a huge amount of usage, um, you know, they, they, they get really, like, really beat up um, and they're being used, you know, multiple times a week, um, then I can imagine doing that and just being really, really serious with it. But honestly, for, I think for most people, uh, when you're playing D&D, &D, you know, maybe once a week for a couple of hours, you're not going to get that much beat up um, stuff over this, um, at least not in a reasonable length of time. So that by the time they do get beat up, you can just go ahead and make new ones and figure out the best uh, way that works for you and for the kind of wear that you see on these sorts of things. Everyone's different. So that is the idea. So those are my little uh, whiteboard uh, boards with my various art on each of them. Uh, I did cho choose uh, art from original first edition Dungeons and & Dragons and, and zeroth edition as well for this, which uh, kind of added to the ambiance a little, well, a little bit. And that is what that ended up being. So simple project. Um, you know, these things took very little time to put together. It's really a question of how much effort you want to put into them. Probably the most amount of time was painting these edges. And even that was maybe, oh, I would say um, 15, 20 minutes per piece. So totally up to you. Hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching. Until next time, make something.